This video demonstrates a predictable and reliable method of placing a glass ionomer fissure sealant. On the screen, you can see a selection of materials and instruments that you may find useful in undertaking this procedure. Inspect the tooth under direct vision if possible, or indirectly with a mirror depending on the location of the tooth. It is important that the tooth is examined when clean and dry and under good lighting. If debris is evident within the fissure pattern, Gently to bright this with a toothbrush. Use a buccolingual orientation when brushing the surface of the tooth. Isolate the tooth and achieve moisture control. This can be done with cotton wall rolls or with the additional help of a dry guard. Ensure that the cotton wool rolls are controlled when in the oral cavity. Clinically, a saliva ejector can be utilized to aid moisture control. The tooth should once more be dried. When you are happy that the tooth surface is suitable for a glass ionomer sealant, it is time to place it. There are two alternative techniques for the first stages of placing a glass ionomer fissure sealant. The glass ionomer can be introduced onto the fissure pattern using a blunt ended instrument such as a flat plastic or directly if using capsular glass ionomer. Gently apply the glass ionomer to the fissure pattern. Ensure that there is enough to cover the entire fissure pattern but not extend up the sides of the cusps more than approximately one millimeter. Shape and contour the glass ionomer with a flat plastic instrument. It must be noted that glass ionomer sets quickly. Any shaping that you intend to carry out must be undertaken within the first few seconds of placement. Your nurse will place a small quantity of petroleum jelly on your middle finger. They will also place a small amount of glass ionomer on your forefinger. This will be the approximate shape and size of a grain of rice. The actual quantity will depend on the size of the tooth to be sealed. Place your forefinger over the clean dry tooth. Press the glass ionomer firmly onto the tooth. Keep the fingertip firmly placed over the occlusal surface and sealant for a full two minutes until the glass ionomer has set. This prevents exposure of the glass ionomer to moisture. Remove your finger and quickly examine the sealant while still maintaining moisture control. The sealant should appear to fill the fissure pattern and follow its shape without being too bulky. There should be no voids or defects. When you are happy with the sealant, place the petroleum jelly on the occlusal surface. This acts as a barrier against moisture and should cover the entire sealant. Finally, gently floss the adjacent contact points. This ensures that no glass ionomer has become stuck here. Check the occlusion with articulating paper. Adjust the sealant if necessary. It is important to note that if you do adjust the sealant, further petroleum jelly should be placed 